Ladies and gentlemen, the coronal mass ejection is here and the space weather event is ongoing. Monday, October 11th, 11 p.m. Mountain Time, 2021. You can see the jump up in the telemetry here. This is the plasma speed jumping up from 320 to 500 instantly. Also, we have temperature instantly jumping and density jumping up quite an amount. Here you can see a, a pile up in the phi angle as well as a massive shift in the BZ. Now, the CME from the M1.6 solar flare on October 9th has arrived. Now the telemetry has reached the Discover Solar spacecraft and should sweep past Earth within the hour. The solar wind speed looks to be near 500 kilometers per second, has dropped off uh, after the initial shock. The BZ component of the interplanetary magnetic field is currently in the south pointing orientation, which is good news for the prospects of geomagnetic storm and more to follow. So we're looking at it closely right now. KP index has shot up to five. We are in low level geomagnetic storm as the magnetometer rapidly shifts 100 nanotesla to the south and is now coming up. So we're keeping a close eye on what's happening here from the telemetry to show you what may be happening in the morning. Now, you may not be getting such good connectivity in the morning because from the density, this is still rising, which will drive this speed up. And it's anyone's guess how the secondary shock will hit us. So we're currently in KP5 geomagnetic storm and headed up, up and away. Now our magnetosphere has been taking the brunt of this and has kept it at quite a low level. And based on all of the telemetry, there is not much currently hitting us. Um, and when we're talking about that, we're talking about the solar wind speed. So if we see another major jump up, up into this range or another jump up above 500 kilometers per second, we are still in a very low level uh, telemetry here on Earth. Anything above 700 kilometers per second at the next jump up could bring us to KP7 or above, but currently everything looking at low level geomagnetic storm, but we still have 12 to 24 hours more of the plasma coming our way. But the initial shock is not that impressive. And that's the boom to knowledge. Hope you got something out of the video. Probably nothing will be affected. Nothing will be shut down unless a secondary plasma stream of more magnitude were to hit the earth. And there's no evidence that that's going to happen. So we'll probably stay in low level activity based on the first jump up. Very limited uh, density shock here. Just bringing up the plasma speed below 500. This is quite insignificant. Unless we see uh, speeds above 700 kilometers per second, well, there's almost nothing to worry about. That's a boom to knowledge. So sleep well, my friends, and we'll talk to you in the morning. We love you. Subscribe, share, comment, and become a Patreon. Respect. We love you. That's a boom.